Hey guys, Overlord Prime here to bring you a video comparing the T57 Heavy and the AMX 50B. Now, a lot of the times people always ask me questions why we use the 50B over the T57 Heavy or why we bring T57 Heavies at all instead of AMX 50Bs because the AMX 50B has, what, 1600 damage potential in its clip but also moves faster. So people always ask me questions such as why do you bring a tank that's slower but does the same amount of damage on purpose. Now in order to answer that question we have to check a few things. For one we have to look at the gun comparison between the T57 Heavy and the AMX 50B which we will do right now. This actually makes a huge difference because the gun under the T57 Heavy is actually what makes it one of the best autoloaders for brawling. Whereas the AMX 50B's gun makes it one of the best autoloading heavies for sniping or mid to ranged combat. Now, in order to understand why that happens, we have to look at the two gun stats. And right off the bat, you'll notice something. The T57 Heavy actually reloads in 25 seconds. Whereas the AMX 50B reloads in 30 seconds. Now, immediately, this is a very small difference. 5 seconds, you know, sometimes doesn't mean too much to a lot of people. But if you include the intro drum, the 2 seconds versus the 2.5 seconds, you also say, well, Overlord, that's not too much of a difference. Now, you have to remember that these are autoloaders. So this is 2 seconds per shell within the autoloader and 2.5 seconds per shell in the AMX 50B. So in order to find out how long it takes to drum out, you have to multiply this value by the amount of shells you're firing after the initial shot. So once you fire once, you will have three shots remaining. And from that, we have two seconds multiplied by three shots, and you have six seconds to clip out in the T57 Heavy. Now this is important, so remember that six. Whereas in the 50B, you have the same exact scenario. You fire one shot, you have three remaining, so you have 2.5 times 3, and you have 7.5 seconds to release the entire clip. Now, you have 6 seconds to release a clip here, and 7.5. Now, we have to find out how long it takes for you to clip out, reload, and then get your second clip again. And for that, we just add the two values together. 6 seconds on the entire drum, plus 25 on the reload, makes it 31 seconds for a clip, plus a full reload. On the 50B, we have 7.5 seconds plus 30 seconds for a reload to have the conclusion of 37.5 seconds for a full clip and another reload. Now, this is important because this is actually what makes the T57 Heavy better than AMX 50B. In this one unique scenario, you see that when you start a brawl, the 57 Heavy and the 50B will both clip out typically fine. They'll probably both take the same amount of damage, dish out the same amount. But that 1.5 seconds on the clip and that 5 seconds on the entire drum reload adds up now. Because as we saw earlier, if it takes 31 seconds to clip out and then fully reload on the 57 Heavy, and then it takes 37.5 seconds on the 50B, there's actually a very interesting number you get. You get a 6.5 second difference. Now, we just talked about fully clipping out and then fully reloading again. So, what this means is the T57 Heavy is now fully reloaded while the 50B still has about 6.5 seconds left on his reload. So, what this means is while the 50B is still reloading, this T57 Heavy can get another clip out. So, in this scenario, the 57 will have done 3200 damage with the 8 shots from its 2 drums just in time for the 50B to finally say, hey, I'm ready to get my second clip out. And in a lot of scenarios, this makes the T57 Heavy one of the most game-changing heavy autoloaders in the game. The fact that you get a second drum out by the time an equivalent autoloading heavy gets his reloaded makes the difference between 3200 damage or 1600 damage. And in a competitive format where, you know, fights are done by the second, where 
literally five seconds is the difference between a tank surviving and a tank dying. You find that the 57 Heavy then is one of the better autoloaders in a close range brawl. But that's not all. The 57 Heavy doesn't have everything. If the 57 Heavy is one of the best, one of the best brawlers, we find that the AMX 50B is one of the best supporters. And to see that, we have to look at the other stats. Now, an interesting tidbit about the two tanks is the 57 Heavy carries heat, 340 penetration heat, similar to the E5, whereas the AMX 50B carries 325 penetration APCR. I won't go too in depth into this, but the main problem with heat is that when it hits any spaced armor, it will actually sizzle and usually not penetrate and do damage. Whereas the AMX 50B has APCR. APCR doesn't have the same problem with heat, it doesn't suffer penalties going through spaced armor, but it also has a few traits from AP that make it useful, such as normalization, which decreases armor angling, thus making the 50B APCR run about as equivalent in penetration to the heat because of that normalization. Not to mention that the shell travel time of APCR is much faster than the shell travel time of heat, thus making the 50B inherently a better tank for ranged combat. Another trait you'll notice between these two guns is the AMX 50B actually has a better aim time when compared to the T57 Heavy. It is a 2.5 second aim time on the 50B versus a 2.9 second on the T57 Heavy. Now, interestingly enough, what you notice is the 50B aim time is the same as its intro drum. If you're sitting in, you'll actually be reloaded right as you fully aim in, which makes the 50B a very good stationary firing tank. So you sit on a hill, you fire four times, never have to worry about aiming in that extra second. Whereas on the 57 in the same exact position, you usually struggle to aim in. 2.9 second aim time with the two second intro drum, you usually find yourself it, forcing yourself to aim in, holding that two second shot, so you make sure you hit perfectly. And that becomes problematic at range, especially when you take into account heat mechanics, as we just said earlier. If you're shooting at the sides of tanks at long range, you have to one, aim in longer than you typically would at close range, and two, worry about the heat shell. So already you find out the 57 Heavy it doesn't do well at ranged combat compared to a 50B. Now another thing about the tanks is mobility. Now this is actually pretty huge. On the T57 Heavy, you notice that its top speed is only 35 kilometers per hour with 810 horsepower and about 55 tons. So that gives it approximately 15 horsepower per ton. By comparison, it's actually almost similar to the E5, the other American Heavy. So in terms of speed and the tank group it would follow, the 57 Heavy falls more in line with the other heavies it's going to be grouped up with, such as the E5, potentially an E100 or IS-7. It doesn't have the speed to run around the map as you would an AMX 50B, because if you look over here, the AMX 50B has 1200 horsepower and only weighs about 63 tons. This gives it approximately 20 or 19.5 horsepower per ton, which is 4 or 5 more horsepower per tonnage than the T57 Heavy. Now this actually helps the 50B immensely, because now this moves the 50B from a heavy level um, horsepower per tonnage to a medium level horsepower per ton. Not to mention that it's given a really high top speed, 65 kilometers per hour. Now if you compare that to a medium, such as the 140, uh, the 140 has 15 horsepower per ton, but it has immensely higher resistance values that give it that you know, acceleration boost. So in terms of speed and grouping, the 50B is more akin to a medium in terms of speed and acceleration, whereas it can you know, go with the medium group and help them. So usually you will see AMX 50B grouping up with other fast tanks while still having that auto-loading potential. So knowing this, you will understand why these two tanks are used. The T57 Heavy has a gun that only works at a very close range due to this bad aim time 
and this intro drum. So typically you will see this tank brawling in the front lines with other heavies. Whereas the 50B is somewhat of a support and a generalist, it moves very quickly around the map. So you would typically see a 50B going on the outskirts of the team while still carrying that dangerous auto-loading potential. So you can think of it as a T57 heavy as the dedicated brawler and the 50B as a support that has the potential to brawl. The gun isn't too far off from the T57 heavy, but in a one-on-one, -on -one, the 50B will lose to a T57. So very small difference in, in these stats, but these stats add up in WGLNA. Usually, I always tell you guys that these fights are made by the second. Six seconds, as we saw earlier, was the difference between a 57 heavy getting a second drum or the 50B still on his reload. And the speed only means as much as you are going to put it into the strats. Usually you'll see a 57 heavy sticking with the main heavy group, and usually you'll see the 50B on the outskirts flexing with the mediums or trying to get a flank on the enemy. So hopefully you guys understand the T57 heavy and the 50B a bit better. Why they're used in WGLNA and how they're used. Despite these two heavy autoloaders being very similar gun-wise, they're very different due to the smaller stats such as aim time, uh, the shells you're firing, and heck, even small speed differences add up a lot. Regardless guys, hopefully you guys enjoy the video and continue supporting Team Simp. Until then guys, have a good one.